I can't help it. I want to see if I can get this thing to kick. Got some wicked old gas in it. Let's see what it looks like. Mm. Beautiful. Looks like Guinness. Mystery oil, my favorite thing. Mm, that'll loosen up that valve, I hope. That gas tank has all sorts of crud in it. So, uh, let's see if we got spark. spark we're going to have to dig deeper so I think I'm gonna put this off for a while until I feel like getting into it there's too much other stuff to do right now we'll take a look at the Tecumseh okay Tecumseh is mounted it's got oil in it as did the Briggs I also got that clutch there he threw that in well, there's plenty of other stuff coming, I'm sure. So, first thing I'm going to do is see if this thing has a spark. Well, that model number doesn't look familiar to me, so it's a newer one. A 12-1236B. Six horse. Looks kind of small, but <clears throat> I don't know. Let's check for spark. I don't know if you can see it, but it definitely has spark. Try a little gas. See if I can get it to sputter. No carburetor on it. Got a little gas oil mix in there. Kind of helps when they haven't been run for a while. Let's see if it even sputters. Who knows? Whoopee! It's a runner. Old golden boy here just is asking for my attention it doesn't spark and we got to dig into it and uh get it sparking because i really want to hear this one run I, I just really love this engine three bolts there's seven sixteenths they're coming right off. I'll show you when I get it off. Okay, I came right off, but I see a bunch of oil here. Now, we did uh, knock this engine over and we dropped it once too because of that red handle that's on the back there. If you can see that, that had a piece of rubber on it and that slid right off and the engine fell. But I'm hoping that oil is just from it tipping over or the seal might be gone underneath the flywheel. We'll have to check. Okay, we took off the, the screen, and we got to take this thing off by tapping this loose. stick is not good I just split the shit out of that okay I got that loose it's awful like it is well these aren't the same as Tecumseh's 
where you could give it a hey look at that little tap came right off washer it's a bit of a concave to it there's a flywheel beautiful flywheel the points are under here okay what lies underneath that is the points and the condenser right there and these points We'll get a file. They look uh, pretty corroded. Uh, there is oil on this cover, which makes me still wonder if there's an oil leak or something. Or, you know, sometimes people never change the oil, and the oil gets so thin and weak it just weeps out of every place. So I'm hoping that's what it is. But let me clean the points for now. Okay, we'll take a little wet, dry, fine sandpaper. And get it in between there. Run it back and forth ever so slightly. It's pretty smooth, not much of a drag. Okay, I'm not even going to put the cover back on. We're just going to stick the flywheel up. Oh gee, I forgot about the uh, key, which is. Ooh, Right here. Glad it stayed in the flywheel. Okay. We'll put it on. Get that in there. Get in there. So we can turn it. Still no spark. Okay, gotta look into it further. So we're gonna see if we can get the golden boy going. Um, pulled off the gas tank and put a Road King style gas tank on. And uh, I isolated that uh, point ground, a piece of tape, because it seemed to be uh, grounding out and keeping it from sparking. So let's see what we can do. First friggin' pole. the carburetor so here we go we're just not getting gas I'm gonna clean the jet Pull out the jet, squirt a little carb cleaner in it. Not much to these carburetors. Uh, we'll see if it goes now. Screen's probably all gummed up. Okay, so it starts and it stops. It starts and it stops. Add a little gas, it goes, stops. So I'm gonna take the carb off and give it a clean. Although, like I said, the only thing that's really important here is this. But that um, 
my pickup tube down there might be clogged up and it's just not getting gas so uh, I'm gonna see what I can do I'm guessing this is a problem it's so varnished up the tank had so much crap in it that it's just sealing it off from getting any gas because um, so we're gonna clean that off anyway yeah look at that I just did that with my fingernail it's just totally clogged you get some oil down in there. I just like, really like to use oil more than I used to use uh, like acetone, carb cleaner. I swear, it does a better job. It loosens everything up. Acetone turns everything to rock. Okay, I'm going to get that out and look at it. Oh, it looks a little blocked up. I don't know. can't really see through it, can you? blow some air through it well you can see through it now so that's good I'm gonna put it back together things are somewhat cleaned up not perfect but I think enough for it to run okay this uh, screw was initially set at one and a half turns out which is in my book always a good place to start you know one and a half to two so we got half one and a half Okay, let's slap this baby back on and see what we got. Okay, we got the car back on. We're not even going to prime it. Let's see what it does.
warming up and we'll get the old oil out of it. Oh, it wants to move. The wheels on that little cart will probably take off. It's been idling for just five minutes. Open the old crap off. I, I have no idea how long this has been sitting. Maybe at least 20 years or so. Put the old oil out of it. Fuel looks too bad, but there's some new oil in it. Just run that a little bit to get the uh, new oil circulating. As you can see, the gas tank is pretty crappy. I'm going to take that chain. Right here. And drop it down inside and give it a shake. See what it can break away.